things we're planning in the future and we're going to give you some sneak peeks. So it's going to be really fun and we're going to cover a lot of, of different things. So we're going to go a lot of places so I'm going to talk kind of fast. Oh, no. All right, our new collection for Moda is called Good Day. And one of the postcards that you got, they, they, they made those for us so we could hand them out. Check out the large floral <coughs> watch. Look at my face. Yeah, the swatches on the back are great so you can see a little preview of everything that's in the collection on the back of the postcard. <coughs> There's some information about us on your two part. I hope it's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but actually, the, the fabric here clever. on the border is, is my absolute favorite. I love this one the moment I saw it. This, if any of you have ever um, gone to one of our trunk shows before, the way I design fabric is very different. I cannot draw a stick pin. Mm. Neither can I. You give me a pair of scissors, I can cut out any shape you want. Barbara scissor hands. I have Barbara scissor hands, <laughs> and she does it well. Most of, most of our collections, if you look, and if you go back and look at some of the older things we've done, if you look at it, you're going to say, oh my God, she cut that flower out by hand with scissors. Yes, I did. Mean dots too. And I glued them together, and I originally used to lie about it. When people say, oh, how do you design fabric? I'd say, oh, I paint it out. And I put all this wonderful so stuff. Rotten. And then I decided to just stop oh, lying and tell how I really did it. What step of the program are you in? I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. This one Actually, the, the main focal print was not cut and paste. I found this um, at the Moda Warehouse. They, at the Moda Design Studio, they have a bunch of antique fabric books. Just a whole wall of these. The bindings are falling apart and they smell funny, but they have all these wonderful fabric swatches in them. So I actually found this little <coughs> daisy in that book, and the rest of the collection it's went around there. there. So we usually have a little formula when we design. We do two quilts and a small project. Okay. So this is the first quilt, and it's called Corsage. And I didn't use white as background. We used that's part of my quilt. So that's Corsage, and it's just made with three inch squares, so it's really easy. Super easy to kit with a charm pack and um, some background fabric. Mary has this thing about <coughs> five inch square charm packs, and she doesn't like the little pink edge. I, I love them, so she has a tendency to trim them all down, and that's uh -huh. why it's a three inch square. And that's my problem. <laughs> so the next one is called Chex Mix. And Chex Mix, um, we, we put it with strip sets, and then we use some of our favorite Bella solids. Um, we wanted to try to in, integrate more of those into our quilts this time to help the, pop the print, prints and make them stand out. So that's the so check mix. Like they come to purple too. It's really cute. Now our third little project that we did, and you may have seen this, it's been all over Instagram. We are so excited about this. It's called the Two Fat Quarter Bucket. No, it's a basket. Basket. It's a tisket, a tasket, a two fat quarter basket. So we've got those, um, super simple to make with two, only two fat quarters. There like is no great Saturday make and take, and a demo, anything. Really there is easy. no Because we pick up those fat quarters like crazy. Nothing. Just super easy, super fun. Even um, I've even begun kidding these myself. Pattern looks like this, and what I've been doing is putting two fat quarters in the back of the package because they have fat quarters but they don't know that they you need want two more. more. So I put yes. them in there and conveniently offer that. We did a Valentine month for a, a little extra cost. So we have five of the little tisket tasket patterns to give away. And Mary's going to, while I'm calling that, Mary's going to show you this beautiful. We do bright. Okay. Everybody? <laughs> Pinks? What do we do? I love the orange. It's dreamsicle. Oh, it's good. Okay. It's good. Prairie Point Junction. Hey! Yay! <laughs> there we go. I and know that name. have River City. Woo. Go River City. Suzanne Weber. Yay, Suzanne! Congratulations!
congratulations. You're well on your way to doing it. Just going to test it. Now I want you to make those baskets and put them on Instagram and put hashtag me and my sister in it. May get reposted we'll repost. in our feed. Quilting we'll tractors, Peggy Oleg. Hey, Peggy. I'm going to mix them. Yeah, Peggy. So make sure you put all your projects made with our stuff on, you have on our feet. And we've got one more basket. Quilters Paradise. Mount Pleasant, hey. Iowa. Boy, next time we better pull some from the back. <laughs> we don't know these things. Quilters Paradise. Yep. Yep. Mount Pleasant, Pleasant yep. Iowa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right there. Oh. Oh. Are you all? It's my number. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. Well, now it's, it's she does. <laughs> All right, and if, did you there? and if you were here for the, in this room for the last schoolhouse, the Moda designers were all challenged to make an 18-inch block, and they were supposed to make a pillow. We got a little carried away and did a table runner, but it's a program that they're going to be running. The free pattern is going to be provided. Yes. There's 16 <coughs> different 18-inch blocks. You can use them with different fabrics, move them around, make a sampler, but this is our block. It's called Starburst. It, it's all rotary cut. The math is done for you. It's all rotary done. There's lots of graphics to it. It's in our booth. Yeah, I don't do anything paper piece or anything like that. So that's going to be a fun so new program that it they're going to some attention offering to the shop owners. All right, another little thing that we've been we're offering this summer this is a uh, what? This is the oh. heads up. It's coming this summer. Um. About six of us motor designers got together and said, what would it be like to work with someone else's fabric for a change? So someone this summer, fabric. starting the end of June, going through July, and the finale will be in August. We'll be posting those dates on our website soon. But you'll be traveling to each designer's website, and you get a free charm pack pattern. I happen to make my pattern out of our Good Day fabric. I traded charm packs with Lori Simpson so you and now I use a pattern in two different fabrics. It works really well. So coming the end of June, running through July, every week for six weeks, you will get uh, be able to download as many of these patterns from our designer websites as you wish. So you might want to stock up on these charm packs. This is really okay. good. I we don't know Lisa, Lisa Bond here. Fabrics, Primitive right? Gatherings, she was the lucky recipient of, of our Good Day Charm Pack. <laughs> and this, this is it. what Lisa did with ours. And she put these bright colored blue And she put on it. resist putting wool duckies on it. It's adorable. See, we just have fun with each other's fabrics. It's really great. So it was fun. We had to send, everybody had to send the uh, the person that they were to send to a charm pack so you'll see and a I'll yard and a quarter of fabric and they can split it up however they want it. Look at those ducks. They're adorable. So that look for that in June. Uh, and the three patterns will all be available. Yeah. All right. Cute. Now we have another new project coming up. Um, we have a bestseller with Leisure Arts, when Mary and I first started coming to Quilt Market, we hooked up with them, and we had two very successful books called Three Times a Charm, book one, book one, Three, three times, times a Charm, book two, two. and Mark and Gail said, three. we need to do Three Times a Charm again. So the whole, third times a charm. Three Times a Charm. So the whole concept of the book, yeah. We um, unfortunately have a box of quilts that are still on their way so, <laughs> and some prizes. So Martin Gale thankfully brought these. They weren't really planning to. And they said, well, since you didn't get all your quilts here for your um, schoolhouse, we've got some. So they saved us. Okay, the concept of the book, there are seven patterns in here. And we do three different colorways. Three different, it might be Candace Troubles, it might be Robin Pickens, and maybe ours. Somewhere along the line, we do three very, very different quilts out of the same pattern. Kind of similar to what we're doing here, but makes it really fun. So you know those people like we have a sister that can't see beyond the cover of a pattern? Mm -hmm. Can't just figure out that. Just like that, and I want that fabric right there. Yeah. Well, yes, it's going to be more, well, here's our little heart quilt. And it's in three different fabrics. I think that's American Jane's and ours. 
and oh, that was our Valentine's, and this is uh, Kate Spades, uh, Kate yes, from Batiks. Mm -hmm. So it does it three different colorways, three different designers' fabrics, seven different quilts. <coughs> Basically, got 21 quilts in there, so it, it'll hit a wide range of your customers. And I think the price point is really nice. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think it's under two, it's under 20. I think. But um, yeah. the first two books, we started naming the quilts um, with girls' names, and they happen to be. Girl, the names of people that used to work at our shop. Because we had Amanda, Bertha, she did work in our shop. The but hurricanes, and we thought that's not really yeah, and so correct. We, so, yeah. so, so we, we started with there. that. So we thought, well, with book three, let's continue the trend, the trend. And we started with Olivia. And we made old. Olivia out of our new, our dot, dot, do, do. Do, 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 Thank you. Um, that was oh, released this year. So that's what Olivia looks like, and Olivia will be shown in three different awesome. colorways. Yeah. This one is Poppy. These are all charms, made out of one charm. This is our, our fabric line last time. So it's made with two lines. This is Bada Bing Poppy. Yes. And this one is called Quinn, and we made this with the new fig tree fabrics. Yes. Super cute. So these are instant gratification quilts. They're going to get the people in your store, you're going to sell them a book because they're going to be able to use these for several different things, baby quilts to table toppers, this and um, they're going to buy background and a charm pack, and you're going to be set. What do you do with these? Well, this is what you do with them. This is Roxy, and it's done with Zen Chic Stay in Paris. To be honest with you, some, not all charm packs are made the same. They're equal, and this was one of the easiest packs to go together all so well. It's really easy. We always complain and kind of moan that we put a charm pack together, but hers did really well. Yeah, I, I have really enjoyed was, working with it. Was it was a pleasure working very, with those Dave Paris fabrics. They were just very, so very much fun. easy to work with. Okay, this one is called Sarah, and this is All Weather Friends by April Rosenthal, and actually this is one of my favorite oh. patterns. I love this. They're super simple. Oh, this is ridiculously in love. This is our Hello uh, Valentine. <coughs> this is Tracy. She's a little hard. And we did it out of Batiks. And we also did it out of American James. So it shows three different ways of using the same pattern. And this is we have, show you the range that you can work with this. This is called Ursula, and it's using Jen Kingwell fabrics. Isn't that fun? <coughs> so who's this? Well, this was um. That's another Olivia. Olivia. This yeah. is done out of mode. That was the, the Halloween one. Look how it looks differently. So and all the seven quilts are thrown at, shown in three different and, and more. So that's kind Just of fun. Just a couple bonus quilts in there too. Yeah. Okay. What else? Yes. You may have yes. heard about our double wide Dresden. We've been doing that for I think this will be our third market. Um, when Mary originally showed me this pattern, I, she said, what do you think? And I said, I don't think anybody will ever buy it. And she, um, she, does this she a makes lot to me, me eat honest. my words it, every it, time. It's kind of depleting. Yeah. So this was the original double wide Dresden, super easy. Um, because Basic. it's double wide, you can now finish both ends of your wedge. You only use 10 instead of the traditional 20. So, the traditional is 18 degree angles. This is 36, mm -hmm. double wide. So, so now it finishes in the center and you get an extra bonus of the star pattern in the center. Okay, what do we have for that one? The next one was... Have you ever seen a rectangle? <laughs> so this is boxy rectangle. I'm just going to hold it half of it because it's extremely And now, heavy. That the, now that the wedges are double wide, a rectangle so, dress so you're able to mix different fun? size wedges together. You guys, this is 47 of our lines of fabric in here. They all oh go gosh. together. So, so if you're a scrap side. collector, you got it. They all go together. All the purples aren't supposed to be the same. You want some different. Change it up. But this is huge. You've got to see the quilting on this also. She doodled on it. Just everything is different. And she used a lot of the flowers and things from previous lines of fabrics. She's an awesome quilter, Sharon Ellsberg. All right, and then we had Beach Ball. Mary started working with strip sets. And they're all 
one and a half or two and a half inch strips. Yep. But what happens if you make the center strip a solid? Okay. Jelly rolls. Yeah. It's very easy. So this is from the book called Double Wide Dressing Quilts. Oh, oh, let me we started with strip sets and made spider web. Okay. And she really started playing with the strip sets and started alternating one and a half and two and a half inch strips. <laughs> Here, grab an inch. And she got the kaleidoscope. This is a kaleidoscope. Isn't that fun? This is all strips. So, all strips. This Different. is all made with the same double wide resin ruler. We wanted a ruler that just didn't do one thing. We were tired of buying a ruler and saying, okay, it made a log cabin. That's all you can do with it. We are constantly. You can make a tumbler. You can make, what else was there on there? Hexagons. Hexagons. You can do all sorts so of things with the ruler. we're constantly trying to come We up show you how to place it, it, what size of scrap you need, things of that. Your best collector is a layer cake to start these. Well, now that you know about the double wide Dresden ruler, we're going to show you what we're working on now. I started, this is a charm pack, and I sewed them together. I just sewed six rolls, what, seven rolls of six apiece. So that's what it started with. Okay, I lost the table right. I don't know. This is a little template. That will make a dressing wedge out of a four patch. And this is where we have it. And you're going to line it up on your seams. And you're going to do a bunch of them this way. And you're going to turn it to the other it's way. It's like a twister. It's a little twisty thing. It has a little line on there. We're going to line it up and everything. And this is what you get. <coughs> you get these cute little. That I did with a super white, super easy alternate one. There's, it comes with a pattern. Yeah. You get the template and you get the pattern that shows you this is done out of Arvada Bean. But that's what you get. The actual one charm pack will make these three blocks. And you can do it with any line of fabric. And guess it's what? It's going to be very different. We have five templates to give away. Oh, oh I have to open this one. Take me, take me. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of fun. This is the same technique, only I put white blocks in there to get those little points to pop out. Oh, Isn't that yeah. fun? And she's been playing with this, but we don't have a pattern written for it yet. You, you use the flower petals with the template. Your leaves. You can either use the five inch squares or three inch and make a four patch. A single four patch and do it so the leaves are all done so with four we, patches. We do have a complete demo in our booth. We've yes. got a table set up. So if you want to come and see exactly how the wedges are made, um, stop by. We're in the oh, motor so area. We teach it beginning classes, guys. Yes. Honestly, it would be a great it You're right. demo. You've done it. Busy yes, it is easy. Quilt shop. Woohoo! Woo Woo you are the proud is. owner of a cherry. Yeah. yeah. These are fun little templates. They're really fun.